encourage all businesses to simply go through all their activities uh, to look into the carbon footprint, as we now say, uh, of, of their activities and look into how they can be more energy efficient, how they can encourage their uh, employees to come to job by public buses or by bicycling, whatever it is, simply to look into all aspects of their activities and uh, improve it step by step. We try to do both, both trying to cut emissions back home in Norway and purchase carbon permits, hopefully from the real poor part of the world like Africa, but also of course from China. Uh, in Norway, the biggest challenge is our oil and gas industry and industries relate, related to that. I think the main answer to their emissions would be carbon capture and storage. We already know that this is safe from one oil uh, field in the North Sea, but we are now trying to develop two major projects related to gas power plants. We want to capture the CO2 and store it uh, under sea. Then adding to that, of course, we want to move on with renewable energy like uh, wind power, possibly wind, uh, offshore wind power, uh, with solar and with all bio, bioenergy, simply with all the, all the renewable tools we also do have. And adding to that, energy efficiency is, of course, very important. We can get a lot more production with the same uh, energy as, as today. The, the real big challenge for Norway is to reduce the emissions from oil and gas produ production and from, ener from industries related to oil and gas. We believe that the main tool of the future will be CO2 capture and storage. We are now in, uh, in the process of developing two main projects in, in this field. Adding to that, uh, we want to look into how we can, pu uh, how we can electrify uh, the platforms to use rather than to uh, let let out gas, we could use we could use elect electrical power, empowering the stations, and there are a lot of specific tools which can be used in every every particular plant and industry. Unless we solve this problem, future generations will have a huge, huge, big uh, threat. Uh, on the other hand, it's an incredible possibility for for businesses. I mean, 13 years back, no one had heard of the internet. Now, I mean, internet is forming our life uh, everywhere in, in the world. Of course, if we can get down the price of solar energy or wind power, uh, if we can develop CO2 capture and storage, this is tremendous opportunities for the uh, human businesses, providing new jobs, providing green jobs, and it's stimulating our, our brains. I consider myself a climate uh, leader, and. Uh, I believe that the most important politicians can do is to change society in a way uh, which makes it much more easy for everyone else to be uh, to kick the habit. Uh, adding to that, I try to do as much as I can in my, my private life. For instance, I'm a member of a carpool uh, where we share uh, cars rather than use our private cars. If I want to take a, make a visit on, to my small cabin up in the mountains, I can use this shared car rather than having my, my own car.